I like to do kind of comparisons like this because it's just uh, it's just fascinating. This is um, Congo, but this is Congo back when they were a uh, a French colony, and um, you know the French colonial notes are all very colorful. They always uh, have, they're very artsy. What they also always have is a warning on the back of the note telling you that uh, if you reproduce this note, you will be uh, uh, punished to the fullest extent of the law. <laughs> I'll leave it to the French. <laughs> I'm going to get you if you make copies of this banknote. <laughs> Seriously, though. <sighs> Don't do it. But yeah, I think this is... Uh, I don't even know what year this is. I didn't look it up. I probably should have, but the reason why I didn't look it up is because I'm kind of more interested in art than history when it comes to this sort of thing. Um, now, just take note of the difference here. This is under colonial rule, and this is when the people of Congo get to design their own stuff. And uh, this is a, more or less a modern note. I think it's... Uh, early 2000s, mid 2000s, something like that. So it's it's still got what 15 or so years on it, but um right here we have a uh what looks like some kind of pot or something like that and you got some lizards in it. I don't know what's going on here, but you know, it looks uh it looks very Congolese. <laughs> You know, I like it when uh, when countries put, like, uh, I guess, ethnically and regionally appropriate stuff on their banknotes. You know, it's kind of, uh, it's fascinating. You got some aminals over there. You got, of course, it's a, it's a more modern banknote, so you got security features absolutely everywhere. Good luck trying to copy this thing. Got a watermark over here. You got, this is a security feature in the shape of the country. So, yeah, it's got a metal strip going through it it's got a little thing over here um, all, all sorts of stuff going on and on the uh, on the back you have a bar date looks like a cockatiel it's probably not a cockatiel though being that they're from South America I don't know but um, this is a really cool banknote this is very much a, uh, a part of a series that every every note has a different color and this one obviously is uh, uh, kind of got the green theme going on but um, but I think it's really fascinating this actually looks like an old colonial banknote you know <laughs> um, it's got a uh, uh, person on it here with an interesting uh, neckwear got a little squiggly designs going on over there you got kind of industry looking things going on down there interesting I want to say this is probably 40s if I had to guess I don't know on the back you got uh, some trains and a nifty looking bridge and you know uh, it looks like some airplanes you know infrastructure lots of countries put infrastructure on their bills which is nifty over here we have a uh, a carving, probably out of wood, of a lady. I can tell it's a lady because of the two uh, um, uh, uh, parts of a lady. And over here you have a mask. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's very ornate looking and very nifty. But anyway... It's just cool, the comparison. I can dig it. I hope you can dig it, too. Anyway, as always, if you have wisdom or insight on banknotes from um, Congo, let me know, because uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say. And um, you you will leave comments. You did this wrong, and this means that, not this, and you're awful at this, and you're terrible. You're, uh, yes, I am awful at this. I've never claimed to be a professional. So thank you. <laughs> Leave a dislike. It's fine. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Uh, um, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, 
Y'all are super nifty. Have a nice day, and I am out.